right, on the Purple People Bridge with uh, Buttercream Dreams by Kale Bell. This woman makes some buttercream cupcakes and <laughs> treats and OMG. I haven't eaten any yet. That's why my mouth is clean. But when I come back, don't be surprised if I'm smacking my lips. How you doing, sweetie? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. Well, welcome to On the Couch with Chris. Tell me a little bit about your sweet dreams, buttercream, buttercream sweet dreams. Well, buttercream dreams was started while I was attending Cincinnati State. So I just started it for a supplemental like income um, while I was going into school full time. So it just developed into something bigger and I just went on a little entrepreneurial venture with it and ever since I've just been baking cake and catering food and stuff, so. Okay, well everything looks really, really good. You even have some uh, some customized cakes that you do. That's right, I do um, logos on the cakes for businesses or if you're having like a special celebration, I can put your face right on the cake and you can eat it too. So it's kind of like have your cake and eat it. Eat my face. That's right. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. Well, tonight we are on the Cassie couch, and you have something going on that I really wanted you to share with our community because I didn't know anything about it, but it sounds like something that we all really need to find out more about. Tell me about it. Okay. I have the Wheat Fund, and it's the will to enlighten, empower, and prosper. And basically, the Wheat, the wheat Fund actually provides one-time crisis um, financial um, assistance for crisis situations. So let's say, um, for example, me, I suffered stroke in 2008, um, and I wasn't able to get any type of physical therapy treatments or medications. Um, I was out of work for like two weeks in a hospital. Had, so was that because you didn't have any insurance, or why weren't you able to get any help? Um, basically, people aren't aware that stroke victims, I mean, it, a stroke can happen when you're young. You know, a lot of people anticipate it's something that happens down the road when you're like 60 years or older. I got one. I had a stroke when I was 17. That's right. And see, and when you're that young or when you're younger, you don't really understand, you know, why those, you know, circumstances have come about. It just kind of hits you. And um, some people don't even survive from it. So, I mean, that's, it's, it's, it's been hurt. It's been hurtful, but also a res a, like a, like a, how can I say? It inspired you to create this this right, particular exactly. project. It's kind of like my motivating force right now because all I can think about is life and living and what I enjoy doing. So the cakes um, and pleasing people, that's that's me. You know, I'm a server by trade, so I've been doing this all my life in hospitality. Um, so now I'm just trying to take my own venture to the road and just get people invested in it. Now tell me um, the people that you're targeting. You said something about veterans and runaways veterans, and things like that. Elderly people, teenagers, um, basically anyone between the age of 18 um, on up to 65 because I do assisted living communities too. But basically I have two programs. So the first one was weeping and the other one is Cake for Smiles. So Cake for Smiles, I actually go around town and I deliver free cakes to like Shriners Hospital, Ronald McDonald house um yeah and how would i mean and and what qualifies them for that do you just like show up one day and you're like i feel like baking well, cakes for it's, shriners it's because of people like you you know what i'm saying so like i kind of bridge communication with other um organizations and things like that and based on their needs um i basically deliver you know so i'm just i'm kind of there for everybody wow you know i had no idea that this was around I have to commend you for that because there's aspects of outreaches that I haven't even thought about yet, but all those things are necessary. Do you have a website or a way we can reach you? Well, my uh, the quickest way is on Facebook. Yes. I'm I'm on there as Kelly Kelbell Crawford. Okay. So um, and once spell you, spell the Kelly for me. Is it I E Y or it, what do you do? It's K E L O Y and then C R A W F O R D. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then from my page, you can be connected to the Wheat Fund group, which gives you a little more information about my nonprofit. Um, that would be down the road, but it's starting now. All right, all right. You know, we, we talk about it now because it is something that's coming in the future. It sounds great to me. Thank you so much for sharing on the oh, couch with Chris. No, thank you for taking interest, and I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, You're we can more. connect later yes, on. That's the plan. Cupcakes!